Hey everyone, welcome to another day in the Artsy Studio. Still don't have like a proper intro or name for this, but it is only the second episode. Anyway, if you're questioning my top bun here, so am I. You're not alone. It's actually just the next day after the one that you saw previously, if that makes any sense. So we are going to get, no, not this, but we're going to get started on tufting all that stuff on the big frame. But first I have to clean my tufting machine. The way that I do this is take a really messed up paintbrush and dust off what I can dust off because all these little fibers they get into all of the little nooks and crannies and all these bars need to be uh, cleaned up and re-oiled so that's what I'm doing now so just first kind of dusting everything all the surface um, fibers just getting that off and then after that, I get a Q-tip. I'm just gonna spray it with a little bit of a like spray cleaner. And this is where I can kind of go in really close to all these like smaller areas and more difficult to reach areas. And I'm also like cleaning at the same time as like getting any like kind of built up um, fibers and stuff. These machines are expensive, so I'm trying to make this last as long as possible. I actually have no idea what the lifespan of a tufting machine is, but I got this in like January of 2021, and I'm starting to have a couple of issues with it. Like, I, and I don't even know if they're like issues that I could fix myself or just like small adjustments that the machine needs after like a while of use which would make sense my issue is that it's having a hard time like cutting the yarn all the way especially like certain kinds of yarn if it's like a really soft like sort of slippery yarn it has like a really hard time so i don't know if like the scissors are dull or if they need to just be adjusted by the way i do this sort of like cleaning situation after like each frame so not after every rug, which maybe that's, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, but I usually clean my tufting machine after every frame of rugs that I do. All right. And then once I feel like it's pretty clean, I usually go in with this, which is like a sewing machine uh, lubricant. So I'll usually use this to like oil up the, um, like these sorts of things here where there's like a ball and it like kind of needs to go around smoothly. Get a little bit on that. And then there's one here. There's one underneath. And then I also add just like a drop to each one of these bars because this thing like slides back and forth on the bar. So it needs to be, needs to be nice and smooth. I think that's good. And then I usually turn it on and let it run for a second to get all of this like spread out fabulous and now we're ready all right y'all i've got you gripping for your life on a chair got my ipad over here showing me the drawing all the different colors not that it really matters which fish is which color but i'm just gonna stick to my drawing because that's what i sent her and i'm gonna start with purple because it is right here we're going for this fish Nice. 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 That's a nice looking fish. I feel like she's gonna laugh if she ever watches this video. <laughs> Just to know the energy behind something that was made for you, you know? Actually she wouldn't she's known me my basically my entire life. Um, so she's not going to be surprised, honestly. That there's a fish. I love it. Wow. Cool fish. Stop. That's what I'm talking about. There's like little strings left over. You see this little terrible that there? That is because my machine is not cutting the string all the way and it's leaving like a little bit so I think I just need to make an adjustment in there just to close the scissors a little bit more the outline of the fur oh you can see him wow he's cute isn't he yep. 
what I'm saying? Ugh. I'm just afraid to make the adjustment, and then and then I will have ruined my gun, you know, my machine, you know what I'm saying? And it, like, never used to do this, so it's definitely, like, a new thing. Wow, look at him. There he is. I'd bring you closer, but you're actually, like, wrapped around that chair pretty good. This is gonna be the cutest rug in the world. Well, we're done with the purple. My hair has just gotten more and more wild as the day, <laughs> and I wasn't even sure of it uh, to begin with. Okay, I think I just had a little bit of a breakthrough. I've been having this issue where my machine won't, like, cut all the way. I've been describing this too, and I, sh I think I showed you earlier, just, like, it leaves, like, a little bit of the string, so it, it just causes so many problems, because then I pull th strings out, and it's it gets caught in the thing, and it just doesn't cut all the way, so it leaves, like... A little like few threads and I've been really afraid to like tinker around with it because I don't want to break it and it's just such a crazy machine that I I was kind of afraid of you know adjusting something so that it crashes into some other metal thing and then it explodes um, anyway so I was getting really sick of it because it's honestly like really uh, hindering me at this moment so I wanted to show you what I did to um, adjust this so what I did was I adjusted this so this little like screw thing and then the square under it were like all the way over so it was like covering this little bit of like the the channel in there the little thing that the screw is in so it was all the way towards the point of my machine so I and it took I had to put on a freaking like glove to un to like loosen this enough to unscrew it. Oh my gosh! I thought this little this little thing was gonna break. I finally got it loose, and then I put it. I like just adjusted it <laughs> um, a teeny tiny bit over, and now it's basically it looks like it's in the middle because a little bit of the channel where the screw sits in um, is showing here, and then a little bit on this side as well. So I went this way with it. And now my machine is off. So now when I spin the gear and that makes the scissors come out. So you can kind of like check things by doing that. So hold on, let me go around again. Spinning the gear, there are the scissors and they're like way more open than they were when I checked it. So earlier when I was like seeing what the problem was, I was like, okay, my gosh, like I want to see how open the scissors get. So spinning the gear and they were like, still partially closed when it was all the way extended which obviously isn't supposed to happen so it's supposed to look like this where it's a little bit open and then so it closes and cuts the scissor or cuts the the yarn and goes back in and it's all like a nice a nice you know motion or whatever and then another thing when i was spinning this gear there was a point where like it felt it felt gritty like it would go around nicely and then it would get to a point where it felt a little hard so obviously I put oil in here usually but then I saw this in there which when you're spinning the gear that part is also going around in there so I put a little bit of oil in there I don't know if that's recommended that's not something I've seen anybody do. <laughs> but since I did that it's much more smooth there's still an area that's like it gets to right when the scissors are all the way extended it's a little it like stops it'll keep going but it for the most part it feels okay everything is fine and I just tested it with the yellow fish and it's working and I'm not having any little strings be barely cut so like I said I'm working on the yellow fish now there's six fish total and I'm on to the fourth I'm so excited to see all of the fish on there. I'm going to try to get all the fish done, and then I'm going to have to move over. Maybe I should push this. No, I can do it today. I have to move over to working on this resin project. Uh, today's step is skewy. I have to flood a flower. I like partially love when my hair is just absolutely ridiculous like this, and I, I think that's it. I think I love it. <laughs>
right, on to the next thing, which is the resin thing, which includes a couple of flowers that I dried. So this is a rose that, actually I don't know if I want to show you these things, because I don't want to spoil anything, but I did dry a couple of flowers. There's a peony here as well, but I was debating using, because I have this clear mold, and there's just so many more possibilities when you're using clear molds, because what I could do is take these little, like, dyed flowers and like UV resin them to the sides of the mold and then fill it and then those flowers would be on like the outside. But I don't know if that's a better idea than using these two flowers that I have here. I think I'm just going to use these flowers. To do this little like daisy thing, it's a cute idea for sure and I might explore it a different time. This, oh I almost said, I almost just said what we're making. But I didn't. And that's what matters. So yeah, I just decided. I was going to be like, oh, what do you guys think? No, I just decided. We're going to do this. But the thing is, yesterday I didn't fill the mold up enough, so I have to fill up more before we can do the flower part. Oh, um, I got all of the rainbow uh, fish done. They are so cute. I'll show you before I start pouring, because once I pour, I usually like to leave immediately. I don't hang out down here after I pour resin, which is why it's the last thing that I do. Okay. I think I'm ready. Da, 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 da. Hey y'all, it's the next day. Um, I had to edit the vlog this morning, start to finish, and then thumbnail and the description and all that kind of stuff, upload it. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. And now I'm going to get going more of this rug. So what I'm going to do is take the screen and we're going to do, you can't see that, we're going to do the little grass bits, just just a, like three things of like just grass, grass, grass. The more that I add, look out, oh my god, the more that I add to this rug, the more excited that I'm getting to see this thing done. Also, if you tuft and you have to like sit on the floor, Get yourself one of these like workout mats, not the yoga ones, but the actual like thick workout mats. This is so comfy to sit on. Let's turn your gaze over to not my water bottle. <laughs> Here we go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I do that pumping action when I have to do a curved line, just in case you're wondering. Nice. That's some grass right there. Hey, nice grass. just over here um, hiding things so I never ended this vlog for some reason I think I was like oh I'll just attach it to the no it would have been way too long so <laughs> here is your outro <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching the second episode of studio vlogs like I said I don't know actually did I say this I don't know if we're gonna keep counting them but thank you for watching the second one I really hope you enjoyed it I'm really enjoying filming them. I think it's really cool. I don't know why I wasn't doing this before. 
Also, I appreciate all of you and all of your comments. I feel like I've been a little MIA with the comments, and that's because I've had so much going on, and I had my wisdom teeth out, and I just a lot going on. So, uh, but I I do read them and I see them, and I appreciate you guys. I love that you all are always like, you know, don't. We love this. I love watching these vlogs, and this would be really cool. But don't know. You don't have to overdo it. Like, do whatever you can. Y'all are so sweet and so supportive, and I'm just really excited to be doing these because they're nowhere near the level of editing that I had to put into, not had to, that I was putting into weekly like art videos, like art projects videos. Um, And I really, I don't know, I'm enjoying this. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this one. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe. I don't even need to move over. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and my vlog channel if you're interested in outside of the studio artsy life. Right now I'm, I'm hunting for a skeleton pillow that I've seen all over the internet and I can't freaking find it. But really riveting stuff over there. You can also follow me on Instagram. Why do I always say that? You can follow me literally everywhere. It is at Artsy Mad Woman besides Tumblr and Twitch, which is the Artsy Mad Woman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>